So now let me give you a little bit of information about using GIMP or the GNU Image Manipulation Program. And these instructions are geared towards my online lab students for the first lab where you're using it, which is on Maps. Now I've already got the GIMP window opened up here and it may come up looking like this. Note that when you open it, sometimes it will actually be a, a smaller window and all you have to do is drag that back out to make it as big as you can, filling that up. Your toolbox may be sitting over here on the left side or it might be on the right side. It might even be in a separate little window right next to the main GIMP window. But this is going to be your toolbox. Now exactly which tool it opens up on might also vary, but you're being asked to use the measure tool in this lab. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that right now. So it's on the measure tool. That's the one that's highlighted. Next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to actually put your image that we're working with into GIMP. And this is the South Carolina map. I've already gone into Blackboard and copied the image on Blackboard. So all I have to do now is paste it. Now there's two ways to paste it. Well, actually three. The first way is to right click on this open menu and come down to edit and then select paste. Now notice there's a option here to use control V which is the standard keyboard shortcut on almost all computers for pasting just like control C would be for copying. So I could use that or I could come up here to the top menu and select edit which is right next to file and come down to where it says paste and again click on that. Once you've done that it should open up your South Carolina map over here. Now again, just to let you know how to adjust some things, if you wanted to zoom in on this image, the zoom is down here. Right now it's at 33.3%, but I could increase that to 50% zoom or 100% zoom or even larger than that, but then it gets a little bit hard to see where you're measuring from and to. I'm going to put it back on the 50. Now we've got it on our measurement tool. So you notice over here on the screen, my cursor is not the arrow that it would be if I was off the window, but it shows you a little plus sign. Now I'm just going to show you over here on the side. If you hold the mouse button down and drag it, it will measure from this starting point to this ending point. And down here on the bottom, right next to where you have the little measurement symbol again, it tells you how many pixels it is and at what angle. This number of pixels is the one that you're going to be using when we measure images to figure out scale distances. Now for your map, the first thing it tells you is to go ahead and look over here and measure from the 0 out to the 30 kilometers. And the lab manual tells you that it should be around 166 pixels. Now I got 168, which is pretty good. If I wanted to get it a little bit more careful, I could zoom in to 100%, but then I have to scroll my image around a little bit. And then I could see that, yeah, maybe I'm just a little bit further off, and if I adjust it in, I can see a little bit better what my pixels are. So this is your test to make sure that you're measuring it correctly and you get the 166 pixels for the 0 to the 30 mile mark. What you're going to need to do in the lab is measure from the 0 to the 30 kilometer mark and then zooming out here a little bit, you're going to be measuring between a couple of cities. And I believe in the lab it's from Spartanburg to, nope, it was from Seneca to Monk's Corner, but read the lab and figure out which cities it is that you need to measure between. And when you measure between those cities, again, your number of pixels is going to be down here on the bottom. So whatever two cities it tells you to measure between in the lab manual, those are the ones that you need to 
drag and drop until you find your pixel measurement. If you have more questions about how to use GIMP, how to zoom in, how to find the measurement tool, go ahead and ask me. If you want to send me a screenshot of what yours looks like, if it doesn't look like this, then I'll be able to answer your specific questions.